Hi everybody. This week I ran into a situation where I need to create diagrams similar to the one you see on the screen right now. Uh, as you can see it's a bunch of circles. Uh, we're calling these bullseye diagrams and as you notice each circle represents a uh, in this case a restaurant or a data point and the number of circles around it represents the intensity or how many times how important that data point is. Um, these data points are changing on a regular basis and we want to be able to produce these relatively quickly um, so by hand this would take quite a while so I wanted to script this I went out to try to find scripting to create circles and was not able to find the script for it uh, I even found on LinkedIn's Photoshop group uh, that there is uh, quite a few people trying to find this and we're not able to do it so now that I have found the solution I want to share it with everybody um, first thing to show you is my interface. In fact, I'll just show you how this works to start. Now, I created this in Excel. You can, and I used VBA. You can use JavaScript, VB, VBA, C Sharp, or C. There really is no preference one over the other. They all have the same capabilities. The only re reason I chose VBA is a lot of my users are uh, not uh, computer literate but they are very comfortable with Excel so they will be the ones using this so from a maintenance standpoint this just makes it much simpler for me here on my sheet I defined each circle so I have my titles and my values my X and Y center points for each circle so if you noticed over here on my diagram each one of these circles is actually comprised of four circles these these circles right here I have a tan circle with a dark circle that's two pixels wider than it behind it with another tan circle behind that here we go that is about 10 pixels wider with another black circle behind that that's another two pixels wider so each one of these is uh, comprised of four circles so altogether this image has about 30 cir circles in it so here are the four circles that I was describing the center points are all the same since one are since each one is placed right over top of one another. All I did was change the radius and the background color that I want on that circle. First I'll show you how this runs before I show you the code. I created a simple user interface. I just select my circles and hit create circles and now we'll go over here into Photoshop and you'll see what it's doing. In fact I'll move this down. So the image on the top was my result. My image on the bottom is what the script is creating here automatically. Uh, you'll notice right now the circles look pretty rough. Uh, in fact, they're very smooth. It's just the image is at 300 uh, dpi, dots per inch. And uh, with my resolution, it comes off looking very uh, sharp. But I'll zoom in when it is complete, so you'll see those are smooth. But now you can see the image is already taking shape with the uh, circles uh, put in the proper positions with the titles. And when it's complete, it will take me about another 10 or 15 minutes just to move the text around, put uh, shading in each area, uh, but then it will be complete. So instead of taking an hour or two to create this image, you'll notice it'll take me probably a total of 10 minutes. So there you go. Um, the layout is done. If I zoom in, you'll see the circles are very sharp, uh, very clean, crisp and clean. So now that I have that, let me show you how this works. Here in Excel, I'll just open the developer area. Go to my module for circles. And I'm just going to show you, zoom into the areas that are the most important, which is right here, which is make circles and circle coordinates. Here in make circles, this is what uh, you're doing to actually create the selection for the circle. Um, you walk in, and if you've worked with selections before, you know you need to provide the selection uh, right here, the selection select parameter of a region, which is an array of arrays. So here I have my arrays. My coordinates, which is 2, since it starts at 0, so you have 0 and 1, so it's the x and y coordinates. And here are my points, which are the 360 degrees around the circle. Um, it's 359 since it starts at 0. Down here you'll notice um, all this is doing is looping through uh, this routine from 0 to 359, so I'm plotting 360 degrees on the circle. Here I call to create my coordinates. I just have to pass it a radius, uh, the width, and the height, 
And here my AA is actually the angle of which uh, I'm plotting. So it's going to start at zero at the top of the circle and work its way around from right to left. And here is my circle coordinates function down here. And if you notice, it's taking in the radius, the x and y origins, which is the center of the circle, and the angle, which I'm calculating. Um, these functions right here are just uh, typical or, or the standard formulas for creating points or finding points on a circle. Uh, so I just run this through. It provides back my x and y coordinates, which I then put here in my x and my coordinates array. And then I populate my points array with the coordinates. Once this is done running, uh, it takes my points, assigns them to the region, and now just does my selection, which creates the circle itself. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is at the bottom of this video. I hope this helps.